You know when AI says something so wrong with confidence that he starts wondering if you're the one who's wrong? Like, I once asked AI what my birthday was, and he said September 30th. I was born in April, and he didn't even hesitate at all. He didn't say, I think, or I'm not sure. He just looked me dead in the eye and lied straight to my face. Actions like this from AI models are not common. There's even an attempt to describe it. It's called hallucination. So I wanted to understand why AI hallucinates. Why would something built to be logical and data driven just make up stuff? Was it bad data? Lazy maths, or did the money will just want attention? Well, that's what this video is about. I try to understand why AI models hallucinate and just tease the end in a bit. The answer I got at the end of this long search made me trust this AI company is even less. So I still away every serious research begins. YouTube. I searched why does AI hallucinate? And one of the first videos I found was from IBM. They explain how language models predict the next word like a super advanced autocomplete, which sounds fine until you realize so does my phone keyboard. They say hallucination happens when more they'll start filling the gap with something that sounds right even if it's not basically like a student guessing on an exam i nodded like okay that kind of makes sense but i wanted to know why it happens under the hood like what's going on statistically or algorithmically that causes this behavior so i left youtube and entered the danger zone academic papers and that's when i found it a paper from OpenAI called why language models hallucinate sounds like a horror movie but it's actually one of the most fascinating explanations i've seen the first line hooked me immediately it said like students facing hard exam questions large language models sometimes guess when uncertain so basically ai hallucinates for the same reasons we bluff on exams when we are not sure we get something that sounds reasonable and hope for partial credits except ai doesn't get partial credits he just confidently yells out the answers like our dancer was born in 1996 and then moves on with his life the more i read the more i realized hallucination isn't a glitch hallucination isn't a glitch it's a feature of how these language models are trained and that's realization alone changed how I saw AI completely. Let me break it down. During pre-training, a model learns by predicting the next word based on billions of sentences. It's like feeding it the entire internet and saying, hey, learn to talk like this. Now, OpenAI's paper argues something wild. Even if all that data was perfect, no fake news, no ready drama, no fan fiction, the model would still hallucinate. What? This is because of statistics. See, when a model generates text, it tends to predict what word probably comes next. It's not checking if it's true, it's checking if it's plausible. See with me, plausible. So if I ask, what's Adam Kalia's birthday? The AI doesn't actually know. He just tries to guess a date that sounds like a birthday. Maybe March 7th, July 15th, or January 1st. All of which are wrong, but are plausible. Opening I also pointed something equally interesting. It's way harder for an AI to generate the right answer than to choose the right answer. It's like the difference between writing a full essay from scratch versus picking A, B, C, or D on a multiple choice test. When the model has to generate, there are millions of ways to be wrong, and only one tiny part that is correct. So, in a way, every time AI writes something, it's taking an exam that it can never fully pass. At this point, I was thinking, okay, can't we not just train it to say, I don't know? Seems simple, right? Well, that's where the second half of this paper completely melted my brain. After pre-training, models go through post-training. That's when they are fine-tuned using human feedback. Basically, it's when we tell them, this response sounds helpful, and this one doesn't. This part of the process was supposed to make them less likely to hallucinate. But according to the paper, it sometimes makes it worse. Here's why. Language models are graded like students. One point for the right answer, zero points for everything else. So if the model says, I don't know, it gets zero points. If it guesses and happens to be right, it gets one point. Statistically, it's better of guessing, even if it's wrong half the time. That's what the paper calls the epidemic of penalized uncertainty. Models literally get punished for being honest. So they learn to fake confidence. It's like the school system, but for robots. And that was my, oh damn, moment. Because now I understood why AI hallucination hasn't gone away. No matter how many updates we get, it's not that AI can't say I don't know is that we trained it not to because we reward models that sound certain not the ones that admit doubt the open AI researcher called this a socio-technical problem meaning it's not just about the algorithms it's about us we build tests that rewards our confidence we celebrate AIs that sound human even if that means being confidently wrong and when the model tries to be cautious it's called boring or unhelpful so of course it learns to bluff now this part of the paper is crazy. They actually proved mathematically that hallucination was inevitable during pre-training. Even the models are perfectly calibrated, meaning it's statistically well balanced. They see a minimum error rate that can't be removed ever. Why? Because language isn't predictable enough. For every unique fact, like someone's birthday, there are millions of plausible wrong answers. The paper calls this the singleton rate. Basically, how many facts appears only once in training, and those singletons guarantees hallucination. It's like trying to memorize every grain of sand on a beach. Even if you're mostly right, you hallucinate. Some. And that's why hallucinations aren't rare. They're built into maths. 
So how do we fix this? The author suggests something interesting. Instead of creating new hallucination tests, we should change how we grade the existing ones. Add credits for honesty. Don't penalize abstaining when uncertain. Basically, give AI partial credits for saying I don't know. That way, they learn that uncertain things in failure. It's part of intelligence. In fact, some human exams used to do this too. Like the old SATs or GREs, where guessing wrongly can cost you points. That system rewarded caution. Now imagine if AI benchmarks worked like that. You may finally get money that don't just make up stuff to sound smart. But until then, hallucination will stay. Because we just don't need smarter AIs, we need smarter evaluations. And after reading all that, I finally had my answer. AI hallucinates because it's designed to perform, not to tell the truth. Pretending gives it confidence, post-training gives it incentives, and together, they create a machine that would rather get strong than stay silent. So, if hallucination is built into the way we train AI, then maybe the real problem isn't that AI hallucinates. Maybe the real problem is how we define intelligence. Because if we keep rewarding confidence over accuracy, then aren't we hallucinating too? Anyways, if you enjoyed this and you want more tech rabbit holes like this in the future, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to see something even crazier, check out the video where I built an extension that almost got my entire YouTube account banned. It's a story.